The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 7th chapter, text number 1, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 13th of January, 1973, in Bombay, India. Sri Rupam Chastrajatam Sahagana Rasna Khanitam Vansadivam Maya Sakthamana Partha Jugam Jinyan Madhasre Asang Sang Samagrang Ma Jatha Gyasa Sita Chino. Today's subject matter is Krishna Yoga. Yesterday we discussed some portion of it. Krishna is all attractive. Vaishadyasa samagrasa bijasa jasasa sriya jnana bhairagayashtaiva saraiti bhagangana. Bhagavan. There is definition of Bhagavan. Not that any rascal advertises himself Bhagavan and he becomes Bhagavan. No. Parashar Muni, father of Vyasadeva, gave us what do we mean by Bhagavan? Bhaga means opulence, and ban means one who possesses opulence. Just like we have our practical experience, anyone who is very rich, he is attracted, he becomes attracted. Many men go to him for some favor. One who is very influential, he becomes very attracted. One who is very famous, he becomes attracted. One who is very learned, wise, he becomes attracted. One who is very wise, he becomes attracted. And one who is in the renounced order of life. Renounced order of life means one who possesses everything but renounces, does not use it for his personal benefit. Just like a person who is very charitably disposed, he gives everything to the public, he is also very attracted. So these are six kinds of attraction. So Bhagavan means one who is in full possession of all these attractive features, he is Bhagavan. Not any rascal loitering in the street and becomes Bhagavan. No. That is misleading. We do not know what is meant by the word Bhagavan. Therefore, we accept any rascal as Bhagavan. Oishadjasa samagras. Reaches, there are many rich men in Bombay city, but nobody can claim that I am the possessor of all the riches. All the bank money or any money there is in Bombay, that is my money. Nobody can say. But Krishna can say, Oishadjasa samagrasa, samagra riches, not paltry portion of it, samagra. Oishadjasa samagrasa bijasa, strength, influence, bijasa, jasasa, reputation, fame. Just like Krishna spoke this Bhagavad-gītā five thousand years ago, but still, it is adored all over the world. 
not only in India, but all over the world. Bhagavad Gita is known in any country, irrespective of religion or faith. Everyone, any intelligent man, any scholar, any philosopher reads Bhagavad Gita. That means Krishna is so famous. Everyone knows. So, Oishadyasa, and when he was present, he showed his riches. Narodmani wanted to see how Krishna is managing his sixteen thousand wives, sixteen thousand one hundred eight wives. So, when Narodmani came, he entered each and every palace. There were sixteen thousand one hundred eight palaces or marble palaces, bedecked with jewels. There was no need of electricity or light at night. All the palaces were so bedecked with jewels, and the furnitures were made of ivory and gold. Opulences. The gardens were full of parijat trees, and not only that. Narada Muni saw that Krishna was present with each and every wife, and he was doing different types of business also. Somewhere he was sitting with his wife, children, some, somewhere marriage ceremony was going on of his children, somebody, so many, all, not one kind of engagement. So this is called opulence, riches. Not that possessing a few tulas of gold, one become God. No. Bhoktaram Jagadavasam Sarvaloka Mahesaram. Sridam Krishna declares that I am the supreme enjoyer. Bhoktaram Jagadavasam Sarvaloka Mahesaram. I am the proprietor of the planets. That is richness. Power so far strength and power is concerned. Krishna, when he was three months old, on the lap of his mother, he killed so many demons. So Bhagavan is not manufactured by some process. Bhagavan is Bhagavan, all is Bhagavan. Either he is representing as a child or a boy or youth, he never becomes old. That is another feature of Bhagavan. That is another research. We want to keep our youthhood by so many ways, but Krishna is always young. Bhagavan is always young. Bhagavan never becomes old. Addaita achyuta anadi ananta rupam adyam purana purusam navajau vanancha. He is the purana purusam. Purana Purusam means the oldest person, because his Adyam, beginning of all Purushas, Purusha means the three Purushas, Vishnu, Mahavishnu, Gadbhodaksai Vishnu, Karanadaksai Vishnu, they are called Purusha. So Adyam Purusha is male, person, he is not imperson. Imperson is only he is one bodily feature. So, in spite of his being Adyam, Adi Purusam, the cause of all causes, cause of Mahavishnu, cause of Brahma, still Navajovanancha. He never becomes old. God never becomes old. That is his opulence. Aishadjasa Samagrasa Bhijasa. Jasasa, Jasa, I have already explained, he is so famous. Still, you cannot find in the history of the world five thousand years ago who appeared and is still famous. You don't find. There is not a single instance within the human history. But Krishna, he appeared five thousand years ago during the battle of Kurukshetra, before that, and still he is famous. Not only famous, 
in India, but is famous all over the world. In each and every language, the Krishna word is there, dictionary. He is also stated as Hindu God. But Krishna is not Hindu God or Muslim God. He is God. God is neither Hindu nor Muslim nor Christian. God is God. So Krishna is Bhagavan, Sang Bhagavan. Krishna su Bhagavan Sayam. There may be many Bhagavans, but Krishna is the original Bhagavan. Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha. Anadi Radi Govinda Sarva Karana Karana. So Krishna says, Maya Sakta Mana Pratha Jogam Junyana Madasaya. We have to increase our attachment for Krishna. So how we can increase our attachment for Krishna? Unless we know Krishna, at least something about Him. Just like a girl becomes attached to a young boy when she knows about something, about that boy. The more she knows, she becomes attracted. In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is said, Siddhanta Boliya Chitte Nakara Aras Yaha Hoite Krishna Lage Sudhira Manas. If we want to be attracted by somebody, we must know about him something. Simply superficial understanding will not do. Just like we feel sometimes inconvenience in preaching about Krishna, because people here, they think, they know everything about Krishna, what they will hear from the Americans and Europeans, what you can teach us. Familiarity breeds content. No, Krishna is not so easy to know. Manusanam sahasya su kaschi jatati siddhaye jatatam abhi siddhanam kaschi dvetimam tattata. We have to know Krishna as He is. So know means to hear about Him. Because Krishna, uh, we are not directly in contact with Him, Krishna. And yoga, Krishna yoga means to know Krishna and then we become attached or make connection with Him, sammandha. This is called sammandha. We must know what is our relationship with Krishna. That relationship is described by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when he was inquired by Sanatan Goswami, what is my position, what I am? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that every living entity is eternal servant of Krishna. This is our relationship. We are eternal servant of Krishna. Therefore Krishna is asking here, maya sakta. We are eternally related with Krishna. But now, under the influence of this material energy or illusory external energy, we have forgotten Krishna. Therefore Krishna says that you have to divert your attention, attachment to Me, Maya Sakta. Mai, Krishna says, Mai, Maya Sakta. Maya Sakta Mana, mind has to be always fixed up in Krishna. This yoga has to be practiced. As Maharaj Amburis did, Savai Mana Krishna Padara Mindra. He always, he was a great emperor. He had many business, political and maintenance of the kingdom. He was always busy, great emperor of the whole world. But he still he fixed up his mind always on the lotus feet of Krishna. That is called Krishna Shakti. Krishna Shakti Maya Maya Sakta Mana. Mind has to be fixed with Krishna. The process is very simple. Process is very simple. Everyone at home, in any condition of life, he can fix up his mind in Krishna. Our mind has to be fixed in something because mind is never vacant. It is always fixed up or attached to some, something. Not for a second our mind is vacant. So this vacancy has to be filled up by the presence of Krishna. That is perfect yoga. And the last chapter, 
we are speaking from the seventh chapter. In the last chapter, sixth chapter, Krishna says, Yogi Namapi Sarvisam Madgata Antaratmana Sadhyaman Bhajati Jumang Sami Yukta Dhamma Mata. Yogi There are many yogis, many different types of yogis. But the best yogi, the foremost yogi, best of all, is he who, yogi namapi sarvesam madgata, simply in relationship with me, thinking of me, madgata antaratmana, within the core of heart, always thinking of Krishna. Madgata antaratmana. Yoga process means to concentrate the mind upon the Supreme Personality of Godhead, generally Lord Vishnu. So Lord Vishnu and Krishna, there is no difference. They are the same. Krishna is the original Vishnu. So the first class yogi is he who is always concentrating his mind upon Krishna. Yogi nama pi sarvi samad gatantaratma. Sadhyava. Unless you have got sadhya, he cannot make any progress. Sadhya. Sadhya means faith, just like you have all kept. You have got little faith and more faith. There is faith. Without faith, I could come here and spare some time for understanding Krishna or hearing about Krishna. So this is the beginning. Sadhyāvā. Sadhyāvān bhajati jūmā. With faith. That faith begins in the Bhagavad-gītā. The Krishna is creating that faith, personality. He is speaking about Himself to create your faith. Krishna says that you are searching after the Supreme. Krishna says, Aham sarvasya prabhava matta sarvam pravartate. Aham adirhi devara. So, in this way, Krishna, not advertising Himself, but He is presenting Himself. Because he comes down to establish real religious system. Jada jada hi dharma sagrani bhavati bhar. Dharma samsthapanartha. He came to establish real religious principle. Real religious principle means to accept the codes of Krishna. Dharma to sakshat bhagavat pranit. Nobody can create religious principle. A man cannot create. That is not possible. Any religious system which is created by man, that is not religion. Religion means what is created by God. That is religion. Dharma to sakshat. Sakshat means directly. So this Bhagavad Gita is real religion because it is directly spoken by the Supreme Personality of Godhead for the benefit of the whole human society. And Krishna says also, so if you have got any other faith, religion, you give it up. Sarva dharma and paritaj. Mam ekam. Only one. God is one. Religion is one. The process of religion is one. And the activity who is in God, relationship, his activity is also one. That is oneness. There cannot be any difference activities. Therefore Krishna is teaching maya saktamana. So how to increase your attachment? We have got attachment in so many other things. We have got attachment for the body, we have got attachment for the family, we have got attachment for the society, country, or so many things. But Krishna says maya saktamana, that is yoga, that is perfect yoga. And to perform that yoga, Krishna says, Maya Saktamana Pratha Yoga Junyan Madasraya. One has to take shelter of Krishna. He cannot practice Krishna yoga by taking shelter of anything else. You have to take shelter of Krishna. Just like in the fourth chapter, Krishna says that. Imang vivasyati yogaṁ pratyavāna hamabhyam vivasyān manave praha manu ikhāgave bravit 
एवं परंपरा प्राप्त इमंग राजो विदु सो दिपिकिनिंग इज कृष्ण सो कृष्ण फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्सप्लेन दिस भगवत गीता टू दिस सन गो इमंग विवस्ते जोगम प्रतमान अहम अभयम सो दे बिगिनिंग इज फ्रॉम कृष्ण and it was spoken first to the sun god the sun god explained to his son monu vivasate vivasate man this age is vivasato monu age there are so many things we have to learn but we are neglecting in one day of brahma there are 14 monos and each monos age e 43 lakhs of years multiplied by 72 so now it is the age of vaivasatamon out of the 14th mono this is the 7th mono it is going on so this age is called mono mono the father of the human kind manushya there is manu sanghita to give direction to the people how to act how to live that is manu sanghita so in this way we have to learn the philosophy of krishna which is directly spoken by krishna not interpreted by anyone that is krishna philosophy if it is interpreted or misinterpreted by some so called scholar we cannot accept them scholar who misdirect people by misinterpretation of bhagavad gita that is not very good otherwise why people are so much misdirected because the so called scholars and philosophers they have misdirected they have tried to kill krishna from bhagavad gita and push forward their own rascal philosophy so that is not good we have to learn bhagavad gita directly from krishna that is mayasa that is real bhagavad because krishna says एवं परंपरा प्राप्त परंपरा सिस्टम ऑल द ग्रेट किंग्स राजस्टूड भगवत सो वी हैव टू एक्सेप्ट द भगवत गीता बाय द परंपरा सिस्टम नॉट वी मैन्युफैक्चर आवर ओन इंटरप्रिटेशन दैट इज नॉट भगवत गीता दैट इज मिस यूजिंग द भगवत गीता सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इनक्रीज आवर अटैचमेंट फॉर कृष्णा then the shraddha is the basic principle faith yes krishna is the supreme personality of godhead even if we don't accept him at least everyone accept krishna the greatest personality so that much faith is the beginning of ashakti attachment for krishna that little faith salpam api yasya dharma satrayate mahato vai now you have to increase that faith that increase faith means as it is enunciated by rupa goshami adau shraddha if you have got little faith to increase the faith just yourself associate with the devotee adau shraddha tato sadhu sangha because just like if you want to do some business if you want to increase the volume of business you have to associate with businessmen of the same line just like there are different mercantile association share brokers association grain merchant association oil seed merchant association so to increase the volume of business one has to associate with the similar persons so if you want to increase your faith in krishna then you have to associate with krishna bhaktas associate adho sadhya tato sadhu sam this sadhu means krishna bhakta without becoming krishna bhakta according to bhagavad gita nobody can become a sadhu that is also explained in bhagavad gita sadhu reva samantabhya hu bhajate maam ananna bhak अपीते सुदुराचार भजते माम अन्य भाग साधु रेव समंतव्य ही साधु नॉट दैट साधु सिंपली लाइक मे चेंज द ड्रेस आर हैविंग ए लॉन्ग बियर्ड एंड नो 
the sadhu means one is purely devotee of the Lord. He is sadhu. Bhajate maam ananava. Without any deviation. One who has taken Krishna, the Supreme Lord, as the only worshipable, he is sadhu. Sadhava sadhu bhusana. Titikshava karunika. Sadhava sadhu bhusana. Ajata satrava shanta. Sadhava sadhu bhusana. These are the definition of sadhu. Sadhu means titikshava. One who has taken Krishna as the Supreme Lord, Krishna as the Supreme Person, he has to tolerate so many things, so many criticism, so many tribulations, just like Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj had to undergo so much tribulation from the hands of his father because he became a sadhu, Krishna Bhakti. The only fault was that he was a Krishna Bhakta. Even the father, the atheistic father, became enemy. He wanted to kill him. You know Prahlad Charitra. If there is opportunity, he shall speak. It is horrible. Five years old boy, because he was chanting Hare Krishna, Narayana, the father became enemy. Titik Sava. Therefore, a sadhu has to become very tolerant. Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur became a sadhu, a devotee of Krishna. He came from Mahavidan community. In those days, the Mahavidan Kaji magistrate called him, that you are Mahavidan and why you are chanting Hare Krishna, the Hindu's God's name. So he very mildly replied, my dear sir, there are many Hindus, they have also become Mahavidans. So suppose I have become a Hindu, so what is the fault? Oh, he became very angry and he was ordered to be caned in seven markets, you see. So there are so many dangers. Although the time is not so much polluted, people are liberal. Just like I am preaching in the Western country, so nobody has checked. The government has not checked because the time is not so cruel. Although in that Western country, Lord Jesus Christ was crucified. So there is sometimes danger to become Krishna Bhakta. Therefore people have heard it. At least the criticism is there. Therefore Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that Tinadupi Suni Chena Tarorapi Sahishnuna Omanina Manodena Kirtaniya Sadahari. One has to become tolerant like the grass. Tinadupi Suni Chena. Suni Chena. That's like we are trampling over the grasses. So many people are going on. No protest. Trees. We are cutting trees. We are taking their leaves, their fruits, taking shelter of the trees. When there is sunrise, it is very scorching. And still we are cutting. Taller. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given these two instances. Taroropi sahisnuna tina adupi suni chena amani nama anadena for oneself, for personal self. Don't claim any respect, but you give respect to all others. Amanina manadena kirtaniya sadari. If you can situate yourself in this position, then you can chant Hare Krishna mantra very peacefully. It will not be disturbed. If you chant, if you begin chanting Hare Krishna mantra, then your friends will criticize. It is very easy job. But for the fear of criticism for my friends, I do not like to chant. I do not like to take the beads. I can carry a transistor throughout the whole road, but if I carry one bead, I will criticize. So one has to be tolerant. Now these European American boys, they don't care for any criticism. They have given their so-called hats and coats, and they are chanting, they are going on the street chanting Hare Krishna mantra. Not only here, in European, big, big cities, New York, London, Hamburg, Berlin, everywhere. So they don't care for this so-called criticism. They are fixed up and people are accepting. So this is called increasing the sraddha, faith. Adho sraddha, 
to increase your attachment for Krishna, the basic principle is sraddhya, faith. Then the faith is created by reading Bhagavad Gita. You can understand what is Krishna. Then you can have your faith, or oh, here is God. That much. And sarva dharma and paritajya mame kaṁsarnavan. This is the beginning of faith. Then now I must engage myself in the devotional service of Krishna. You may write very so-called scholarly comments, but you have simply wasted your time. If you have not come to the conclusion that now I shall engage myself in the service of Krishna, sarva dharma an paritajya mami kang saranangraja. If you do that, that is the beginning of sraddha. Then other things. Maya sakta mana prartha yuga jinyan madasraya. This, this has been explained by Kaviraj Krishnadas Goswami. Sraddha sabde vishya sudhira nischa. Krishna bhakti koile sarva karma krita ha. This is sraddha. Sraddha means sraddha sabde vishya, full faith, sudhira, very firm. Nisha with conviction. That is Sadha. Sadha Sabde Vishya Sudhira Nisha. What is that Vishya? What is that faith? Krishna Bhakti Kaila Sarva Kamakita Ha. If I devote myself in Krishna consciousness, in the service of Krishna, all my work will be perfect. This is called Sadha. If you have got hesitation that some percentage to Krishna, some percentage to my family, some percentage to my country, some percentage to my dog, some percentage in this. No. Simply. Sarva dharma alparitajya mami kang saralangbraja. That faith, if you can raise yourself to that platform of faith, that is the beginning of faith. Krishna bhakti kaile sarva karma. Sarva karma krita. Krishna is a Supreme. So, by serving the Supreme, you can serve everyone. Jatha taror mula nise chanena, tripanti stattand bhujopu sakha, prano paharat jathe indiana, tatha sarvahanam achyute ijya. This is called. Jatha taror mula nise chanena. If you pour water on the root of the tree, the water reaches to the branches, to the twigs, to the leaves, to the flowers, to the fruits, automatically. You simply pour water on the root. That is the system. If you pour water on the every leaf, I think you'll have no time. There are millions of leaves. How you can? Uh, no. Take the root and pour water and it will reach. That is the way. Similarly, if you love your society, your friends, your country, your family, yourself, your dog, everything, if you love Krishna, all love will be distributed. But if you don't love Krishna, it will never be perfect. Therefore the whole world is confused. They do not know what to repose the love. That do not Therefore, Krishna is canvassing. Sarva dharma alparitajya maam ikam. Come here. Love me. Increase your attachment for me. Everything will be all right. Otherwise, it is simply way. Sarmai vahi kevalam. Simply way step track. Dharma sanu shthita pungsang vishakshena kathasuja. Notpada edratin jadi sarmai vahi kevalam. It is simply a waste of time. The whole world is trying to formulate the United Nations. How to love the nations, one another. But there is no Krishna. Therefore, twenty years they are trying to unite the nations, but they are simply becoming disunited. They are missing the point. They do not know how to unite. If you want to unite the whole human society into one, Take to this Krishna consciousness. You will be united politically, socially, religiously, culturally, philosophically. In any way. Because Krishna is everything. Krishna is the root. 
सर्वकार न कारण ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सचिदानंद विग्रह अनादि रादि गोविंद सर्व कारण कार सो टेक द रूट एंड योर बिजनेस विल बी सक्सेसफुल दैट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ स्टडीइंग भगवत गीता कृष्ण भक्ति कहिले सर्व कर्म कृत हो सिंपली बाय एंगेजिंग योरसेल्फ इन द डिवोशनल सर्विस ऑफ कृष्ण all our other activities will be perfectly done this is the secret of success krishna consciousness try to understand this shuddha shabde vishwas sudira nischay krishna bhakti koile sarva karma krita ha this is the whole philosophy and practical example just like if you pour water on the root of the tree then the water how bad that water may be small but because it is supply there are many example just like if you pay your taxes to the government it is distributed throughout the whole state to the education department to the water department this department that department you are utilizing so many things but you put your tax in one place to the government it is distributed so therefore the jagya system is recommended in the vedic way of culture to satisfy the supreme vishnu aradhate nanna tatva sochana varna samacharavata varna samachudavata purushena parapumar vishnu aradhate pungsa nanna tatva so karanam jagga jagga means to satisfy the supreme personality of god to satisfy but we do not know our culture is being to we do not know what is supreme personality of god we do not know what is god everything forgot uh, if there is we speak about god they think that these people have become crazy that in this modern civilization he is uh, talking of god what is the nonsense this is the position but that is not a fact god is there god is there god is personally can messing here krishna how you can say god is not there god is there god must be there otherwise how things are going on because you are within this body although you cannot see yourself we cannot see ourselves where i am in this body but i am in this body as soon as i go away from this body this body is useless not even worth farthing this such nice brain such nice dress such nice activity as soon as i go away i leave this body tatha dehantram prapt as i leave this body and accept another body this body is useless immediate similarly you are seeing the whole cosmic manifestation the gigantic body of this material world so there is something soul just like in this body there is soul similarly this gigantic body has got a soul that is god how you can deny it when shastra we said एक पशुरचयत जगदंडकोटि जक्षक्तिरस्ति जगदंडचया जदंत अन्नास्थ परमाचयांतरस्थ गोविंदमादिपुरुषं तमंग भजा एक पशुरचयत जस्ट लाइक दिस बॉडी हेज डेवलप्ड हाउ इट हेज डेवलप्ड बिकॉज द स्पिरिट सोल इज देयर द स्पिरिट सोल इज इंजेक्टेड बाय द सेमिना ऑफ द फादर and it is put within the womb of the mother and then the two secretion develops into a small body like a pea and that develops gradually when the development is complete on the seventh month the child moves his sense consciousness comes he is in the dreaming condition that in the beginning he is unconscious susupti then dreaming condition he returns to his consciousness and then he wants to come out and then in due course of time at the end of 10 months the child comes out this is the process of bodily construction material bodily karmana daiva netrena jantar deha upapatti this is the beginning of birth so a dead child coming out does not grow because the soul is not there so unless the soul is there there are so many instances 
a very nice big machine, aeroplane, 747. But if there is no pilot who will drive it, the machine is worthless, unless there is the pilot. Similarly, this is also machine, this bot. Jantra Rurani Mayaya. 